Hi, Jeffrey. Okay, so it is time uh, to do evaluations. I have your bullhead here. Let's talk about the numbers. That's always a good place to start. Um, it's kind of hacky and the numbers are low and messy. It's wavery. This one, it's not a real happy watch, but I, I've seen worse. Um, see the difference in angle there? We're getting these drops and rises in amplitude. I looked it over carefully under magnification, and it is, um, it's definitely, uh, it's, it's dirty, and somebody did some sort of quick work to it to try to make it saleable. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this thing here. I'm always sometimes on the fence about what to talk about, whether or not something is relevant to a customer, and sometimes I think some of the information I give out, I don't, I don't know that it's really there's really any point, but I would like to think that customers are interested in the state of their watch, and they want to know the history of it. Um, this one's had some questionable work done. The movement is dirty. Under magnification, I can see little flakes and bits and junk and crap. Um, there is, you can't probably really see it. There's like these strings of black material, like just ropes of gunky crap. Uh, under magnification, there's some lubrication underneath this capsule, but also underneath the capsule, I can see little flakes a bit of filth. The movement is dirty. Also, do you see this movement spring here? This is not the original movement ring spring. Somebody, the original must have gotten lost, and who, who, somebody just rammed a piece of wire in here to try to make this better. Um, so that's, that is usually a pretty serious red flag. Also, they did something which I don't understand. Maybe there was some corrosion inside the case back, but they kind of used like a, like a scotch brite pad or something inside this, this, the inside of this is all scraped out. I just don't know why they do that. Uh, it, maybe they were just trying to do a quick clean. Everything about the watch to me says somebody was trying to make this thing saleable as quickly as possible. Uh, case has been reworked. Dial and hands are a little faded. Um, the, it had some work previously. This is an original Seiko made sweep, but it's not the correct one that would be for this watch. It's the wrong color. Um, but that, that doesn't really mean anything one way or the other. If this was serviced later after these were ceasing production and the watchsmith ordered a different a replacement sweep because say the chronograph wheel went bad, he would get whatever sub was available if the right color was not available. Uh, it's it's interesting because the, the like the watch has new seals, but the person didn't whoever did this this later work didn't bother cleaning it. Like this stem, the entire stem assembly is filthy, but there's a new seal in place. It just it needs to be rebuilt, and whoever did this work was not careful with it, um, which always makes me a little sad. You want you want these watches to be appreciated and loved and treated nicely, uh, not just sort of gussied up real quick for a sale. But I think it's saleable. I think that I'm saleable. I think it's recoverable. I think we're going to be able to bring it back. Uh, like it's slow. The the clicker is slow. The click spring for the hammer is not clicking. It's just sliding. I can feel it. There's no resistance. Eh, no big deal. I I can deal with that. I'd prefer to have a slow reset than a fast one anyway. Okay. Let me know if you want me to move ahead. Thank you.